Hello and welcome to Mario Classroom League Season 3 Episode 9! Woo! Well, let's just say we're now down to the final 5 episodes of the season and we can say last week, pretty sure is the final episode of the Classroom Poll arc, basically the Democracy arc, where we can't determine who's the number 1 and who's the last place and of course, number 1 is our goat Iron Koji, man. Hold that to those who hate Iron Koji and yeah, you can say he really, really stand up from the crowd even though he do not like to be stand out on the ground but you know he has his way of doing things to get to the number one place so he basically have the advantage point to not get expelled so good for him in the end but of course the last person in the class is to be expelled and i'm very glad he's gone now so well let's just say everything now being done with this arc and now we're moving on to uh, from what i've been told from you guys that iris versus ayin koshi you know basically the poster for this season is now getting to a more heated situation now so i'm pretty sure this episode you're gonna see the build up to those two having their mind game against each other so i'm really much looking forward to it man so oh my god last week was an amazing episode and this week hopefully it lives up with the continuation of the peak to end the season man so with that said let's get started shall we and let's get started shall we and well seems like we found out more about how does our boy and koji got more votes because well no surprise iris uses her class influence to get more positive vote for him so that's why he's number one and of course she has some influence towards yamaguchi being expelled because he was the one that kicked the stick for episode like two remember correctly so yeah basically he had it coming for him anyway so yeah i mean iris man thank you so much for making my goal number one but now they might be dealing with Sukishiro, this weird looking chairman. So, yeah, let's just see how this episode goes, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, there we go. Um, Sukishiro. Oh, really? This is his first visit. Hmm. So I don't know why, but this guy might be have a, having a very important role to play later in the story, so... Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Yo, what the fuck? Oh, okay! Whoa, what the hell? What the fuck just happened? Holy shit! That was fucking rude of him! Wait, what the hell? Yo, so what? He's the mastermind or something? Whoa, 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 what's happening here? He just pinned down. What the fuck? Who is this motherfucker? Who is the fuck? How dare you pin down my goat like this? Oh my god, he's pinning him down, man. It seems like he knows him quite well, too. Whoa, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Okay, seems like he would take some more spotlight to come. I don't know why, but he's giving me some... Um, fake vibes or something. Yeah, Kirei vibes. He's giving me so much Kirei vibes, but holy shit. Official battle? What do you mean by official battle? Like, you're, you're telling me that you have this, this is just the beginning between you two? Oh, well, I mean, it actually looks fun to me. Oh my god, so I guess we're entering to a Iris vs. You know, Kiyotaka arc. Like a proper uh, fight arc to end of the season. So I'm looking forward to see what sort of fight they have. Teamwork now. Oh, okay. Class of the class. I can see why he was asking to face against Harrison now. So, team uh, D, C, B, and A face against each other, huh? 
Really? Junkin? Really? Okay. Really? Going for such a very kiddish tactic of picking, huh? Mm hmm. Um, right. Okay. Right. Wow. So... Is they're, they're basically choosing a stipulation through luck then. Through this uh, matching of thingy. I mean, I'm the same, man. I'm the same girl. Don't worry. Uh-huh. So, out of the seven, huh? Wow, okay. Expelled? What else, man? <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Always oh, result in explosion. Of course. So, who's gonna take the duty of being a leader and, and make sure the class doesn't lose? <laughs> Oh, seems like he's unwilling to be a leader too. <laughs> well, I mean, who else, man? <laughs> he won out. He won out, man. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ask that to Class A, man. Ask Class A that. Don't ask you guys that. <laughs> oh, really? You've been thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a friend that causing so much trouble, okay? Oh, he does know. <laughs> he has the answer. He just said you want to say it. Playing innocent right now, okay? It's a tactic. Very tactical, my boy. See? See? There, there we go. That's the exact reason why he got expelled. Because he backstabbed you, okay? <laughs> he literally, like, vote you out because you pissed her off. Why? Because he's the GOAT. That's why. Wow, she's defending my bow, my boy. Damn, she's willing to be a leader then. She's literally asking them to choose her as a leader then. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, why not? Be the leader so you can you can use your points, your your winning of the class bow to stay in. Oh yeah, trust me. You you haven't seen the best of him yet, man. You haven't seen the best of him. Come on. Trust my god, he can guide you guys, even though he doesn't show too much in the class. 
Exactly. He has a protection point too. <laughs> oh, let's see what he has in mind picking. What is the stipulation? I'm curious, man. What is the stipulation? Well, why am I not surprised that the uh, four of them are the leader? Of course, they always four will be the leader. Because they're the one that won the poll too, so yeah. Hmm. So, what is the stipulation? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, there we go. So he gets to choose. Well, who else? Oh, B. Okay. Okay, so I thought for a second good. Oh, set up CNA. Oh, love it. Setting up CNA. No, no, no. It's all part of the script, man. It's all part of the WWE script to have CNA. <laughs> Wow, well, not surprised there, man. I'm not even that surprised. It's all part of the WWE script. <laughs> it's part of the script. Come on. You knew this would happen, man. So I wonder what the stipulation will be. Hmm. Nope, he's not interested. Oh shit. Someone is being uh, very moody. Yeah, after what happened last episode, he is a changed man, man. He has to turn heel. Dude, this guy is turned heel, for God's sake. <laughs> Low. Low. Oh shit. Damn, this guy, man. He has fucking turned heel. Like, what the fuck happened to him? Dude, it's like, can someone please tell me what the fuck is going on with this dickhead here at Takun? Like, he has turned heel literally after what happened last episode. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, to be honest, you, know, you expect that guy not to like really cooperate anyways. So I wonder what sort of tactical stuff they're going to do. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, shit! Yo, yo, what's going on here? K coming to his room? Yo, yo, what's going on here? What is going on here? 
Wow, wow, wow. Wait, dude, I think you think of it. This is his first time fighting her to his room. Tell him everything. What do you want, Kay? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Tell him face to face, man. Let him know what the hell is going on. Oh, what's this? What? What is it? Oh, gift. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a birthday, too. Oh, shit. Bro! Oh! It's like, yo, this is a love necklace! Yo, yo, what's this? What is this? What is this? Oh, that's a lot of points. Oh my god. It's either he's clueless about this own stuff or he's just doing it on purpose. Oh, that's true though. Uh-huh. I mean, she, dude. Dude, dude, dude. She likes it, man. She just like he likes it. She likes it. Look at her face, man. She likes it. He likes it. Oh my god, bro. Bro, bro. This is perfect. This is the sign to come. Yeah, high value woman, okay? You are high value wife with material. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Oh, guys. This is sign to come this is the sign i love this moment oh my god he gave her a love necklace for god's sake even though he, he, that wasn't a purpose but Oh yeah, season one stuff. <laughs> uh huh. Oh really? Character development. Huh. Oh, so you're just lecturing her? Typical, isn't it? Mm hmm I mean, you can definitely tell that she's changing right now. Oh, I'm pretty sure eventually she will move away from you. Like a typical storyline would do go for. Mm hmm of course she would change, man. I'm pretty sure I encourage you the reason that she would change a lot. Ah, see? Told you he would be the one. Dude, my boy, I'm going to change her, like, big time. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going right into it, huh? Oh my god, yo, what? Oh, because he's interested right now in K. Why would he ask something like this? Hmm. Wow, my boy and coach is starting to be a normal high schooler. Hmm. Do you know? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Reverse psychology.
<laughs> that is so true though. And they'll end up together. Dude, this girl knows, man. She knows. She knows. Oh my god. It's about to get spicy later in the season. I can smell it. Yeah, I am Koji. Who else? Who else? Dude, just like the opening, they're pretty playing chess. Oh my god, let's go, baby. Iron Sim versus I am Koji chess battle. I love it. The battle of the mind. Chess is all about the battle of strategic thinking and... Well, it's a, it's a very typical game between Ayan Koji and Iris. So I won't be surprised if they end up playing chess against each other. Which I'm very really much hoping for that. So, oh my god. This episode is a build-up, alright? This is definitely a build-up to the final arc of the season. I think from what I've been told on on x that this is actually the um, we're entering to like volume 10 11 sort of stuff now so yeah i guess you can say we're now getting closer now to the final arc of the season so i'm pretty much looking forward to next week to see what sort of stipulation that the team will go for or should i say you know choose a game that can have an upper hand over you know i and koji and this class but let's just all go back to the very start of the episode and go through what the fuck happened here. So you're telling me uh, upcoming principal going to be a big problem for them the second year. Because he said that he'll be coming in position in April. That is literally the start of a new school term. So you can say that he will be a massive problem because he's now here to get iron coach expelled so that he can go back to the facility so i guess he is working for the father yeah let me get so one you were expelled hmm yeah he's definitely here to get iron coach expelled to get him back to the facility but damn he is giving me kira vibes man maybe it's because of the voice actor but Oh my god, this guy is going to be trouble. He is going to be trouble in the in the second year for them. And well, if we get season 4, which I've hoped I'm hoping for, we will most likely see more of him. So, yeah, looking forward to see what just he has in store cuz he literally he literally pinned him down. Oh my god. He pinned my boy down and he's having a he's struggling to fight out of it too. So you can already tell that he is going to be a massive issue. And dude, look at him. He's he's giving me some final boss vibes or something. So he's definitely bad news to come in, in when we get season four. But anyways, so yeah, I guess we're now moving on to a new arc where we will see class versus class pick a pick a stipulation and they'll use that to fight each other. And which which class loses will lose the leader. So Ayan Koji, of course, he'll be picked. I mean, to be honest, it's a no-brainer. He's be a leader anyways, because he has the protection point. So if, even if he if the class loses, he's still going to be at school because he can use that to stay at school. So yeah, I mean, it's so it basically is now about how they deal with the other class stipulation and everyone needs to work together in this because class A is no is no messing around. I mean, to be honest, it was all a setup to get class C versus class A. Basically, Ayan Koji versus Arisu. So basically, those two drag. Uh, basically, I and Koji problem drag everyone into his problem. So, oh my god, this is gonna be so good for next week, man. So I'm quite curious to see how I and Koji guys team to victory. By the way, of course, these four will be picked because they are they have protection points. It's very obvious that these four will be picked as leaders. So, well, what can I say, man? Looking forward to see what sort of stipulation they're gonna choose for Classy and A. But of course. Here, this motherfucker right here is now turned heel forever, I presume. I think this, from what I can see, this could be his real personality too or something. Because like I've been told from last week in the conversation that he, he has a very interesting backstory, which we might not, which we might dive into, but I'm not sure will we, will, will we this season or not, but we just have to see. So, oh my God, dude, this guy fucking turned heel, man. Like, oh my God. If you get to know what the term heel is, it means he turned bad guy. 
So, oh my god, dude, this he went from goody two shoes to an angry emo kid. So, I mean, obviously, what happened last last episode? He got he became he, he came second. He basically stuck um got annoyed by how things developed last episode too. So, I can understand why he acted this way, but. Yeah, guys, and man, let's just end the video by saying that, oh my god, this has to be the cutest moment of this episode. I think I'm actually gonna might be using this as a thumbnail too, because bro, even though he did not understand the meaning behind a love necklace, he still bought it anyways. May I don't know, I just have this sort of gut feeling that Ayan Koji, he did this on purpose. He did this on purpose. He just pretend he doesn't know, but he knows. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure he bought that love necklace on purpose to show his, you know, interest in K. But oh my god, dude, guys, this is a sign that Kyo K is developing hard, man. He gave her a necklace, and this is a sign that, oh my god, these two are gonna be a thing very soon, man. I don't know how long we'll wait anymore, but I'm pretty sure eventually they will start, he, he will start to show his real feelings for K because. He gave her a fucking love necklace for God's sake. And even though Kay gave her a 10 out of 100 for that, but I'm pretty sure she loved it from the deep down. You can tell for her face, she loves it, man. So, oh, guys, I can smell something developing happening between Kay and Kyo, 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 Kyo. So I'm so looking forward to next week already. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoy your reaction. Smash the button, guys. And I'll see you guys next week for more Classroom League greatness. Bye-bye.